Norway is embarking on the largest roadway infrastructure project in its history, and possibly the most ambitious in the world. With a budget of $47 billion, this new coastal highway will transform travel across Norway. What currently takes 21 hours to travel will soon take less than half that time. This incredible project will bypass seven ferry crossings and cut travel time significantly. But how are they planning to achieve this? By building the world's first ever floating highway. Imagine a network of state-of-the-art floating tunnels and bridges connecting the south of Norway, starting from Kristiansand, all the way to Trondheim in the north. This journey, which usually takes about 21 hours at an average speed of 30 miles per hour, will be drastically shortened. Currently, it costs over $200 in gas for a small car to travel one way. Given that 60% of Norway's exported goods are produced along the west coast, where a third of the population lives, efficient travel between cities is essential for the country's economy. With seven ferry crossings along the route, each taking about 45 minutes and costing around $1.16, traveling in Norway can be quite cumbersome. While tourists might enjoy the scenic routes, those traveling for business or medical purposes certainly do not. Norway's solution to this problem is the development of the new coastal highway route, E39. This colossal project aims to replace ferries with bridges and create conventional tunnels, along with what could be the world's first floating tunnel. The idea behind this new design is to have a submerged floating tunnel, which is essentially a pair of concrete tubes submerged about 100 feet below the water's surface. This new transport system will not only benefit Norway's economy, but will also connect cities in ways never before possible, creating new patterns of habitation for the residents. These new roads will provide quicker access to hospitals, jobs, and schools, fostering a more stable and diverse economy and a lot of happy commuters. Norway also hopes that the new highway will help reverse the population decline in rural areas. Some regions have lost over 50% of their population in the last century due to inaccessibility. The trend of population loss is a significant concern across Scandinavia. Preliminary estimates, however, suggest that the required investments and improvements will exceed the $47 billion highway budget. The actual cost could be as much as 340 billion Norwegian krona, or about $38 billion extra. So why opt for such a challenging floating tunnel strategy instead of simply building more bridges? Norway faces several environmental and practical issues with traditional road construction. The harsh weather conditions can be unpredictable, often leading to road closures and ferry cancellations due to snow, heavy winds, or high waves. This results in people driving for hours only to be turned away at crossings. Additionally, Norway's deep fjords make bridge construction challenging and environmentally impactful. To decrease environmental impact and preserve Norway's natural beauty, the most efficient highway is one that's almost completely hidden. Enter the innovative submerged floating tube bridge, SFTB. Ariana Minoretti, a chief engineer in the Norwegian Public Roads Administration, explained that some stretches of the highway will have tunnels of about five to six kilometers long, while others might be only 600 meters long. This concept, first envisioned by naval architect Sir Edward Reed in 1886 and proposed again in Norway in 1923, is now close to becoming a reality. For long span bridges, you need arches and suspensions, but a properly balanced submerged floating tunnel can go on indefinitely. Niels Erik Anders, Ronquist, a professor of structural engineering at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, who now works as a consultant on the project, emphasized this point. When a fjord is deeper than 100 meters or wider than two to three kilometers, traditional rock tunnels become impractical due to the need for massive land use on the shores. Suspension bridges, while an option, are often closed due to harsh winds. A floating tunnel, stabilized by cables tethered to the seabed or by pontoons floating on the surface, avoids these issues. 
This design is both safe and practical, as the pontoon idea allows boats to see the tunnel's location, and with the tunnel submerged 60 to 150 feet below the surface, ships and submarines can easily avoid it. One of the proposed tunnels, the Rogfast Tunnel in Bucknafjorden, will be 390 meters deep and 27 kilometers long, making it the deepest and longest undersea road tunnel in the world. Construction on this tunnel began in 2018 and was initially expected to be completed by 2026 for $2 billion. However, due to cost overruns, it is now expected to be completed by 2029. The government has proposed raising an additional one, $45.5 million, and plans to implement a toll for 20 years after the tunnel's completion, costing about $1.16 per passage for light vehicles. They are also exploring innovative roadway infrastructure solutions, such as intelligent transport systems and solar energy for ice-free roads in winter. Norway's bold infrastructure initiative is not just about connectivity and convenience, it's also about sustainability and innovation. By opting for submerged floating tunnels, Norway is paving the way for an environmentally friendly and resilient infrastructure. This method significantly reduces the carbon footprint compared to traditional bridges and tunnels, preserving the pristine beauty of Norway's landscapes. Additionally, the project aims to boost local economies, providing new opportunities for tourism and commerce in previously hard-to-reach areas. As Norway takes this giant leap, it sets a precedent for other countries to follow, showcasing how ambitious engineering can harmonize with nature. Beyond the immediate benefits of faster travel and economic growth, this project symbolizes Norway's commitment to futuristic and sustainable development. The collaboration with leading universities ensures that the latest research and technology are applied, making this not just a national project, but a global model of innovation. Integrating intelligent transport systems and renewable energy sources will also make the E39 highway a smart and green roadway, enhancing safety and efficiency. As the world watches Norway's progress, this colossal creation will undoubtedly inspire future infrastructure projects worldwide, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in modern engineering. Would you drive through one of these floating tunnels or prefer the scenic route? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more incredible content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.